in their first year as, as the rules allow and as they see fit. Obviously, Colorado has taken a similar approach as you guys did, maybe to a little bit more of an extreme extent uh, this offseason under, under Deion Sanders. Um, what's your take on kind of what they're doing up in Boulder? And even though you're only be in a conference with them for one year, um, are you looking forward to, to going there and playing them in, in this September? Um, yeah, I, mean, I have a, um, obviously I have a play against them. Yeah, I, I give them credit. I mean, we all know what the rules are. We all know what the parameters are. And our job is to build the best teams um, that we can at the universities and give us the opportunities to do it. No excuses. And uh, I, I think, uh, you know, there, there obviously needed to be a roster transformation there um, in Coach Sanders' uh, opinion. And they've gone about it aggressively. Um, obviously, the, the success of that, just like of ours or anybody else's, will be put term of on the field in the fall as time goes on. But um, yeah, I mean, you can't you can't worry about what everybody else thinks, right? Like, that's not that's not our job. Is to, it's our job is to do just to do the best we can for the people that give us the opportunities. And so, yeah, from from the outside looking in, it looks like they've you know done a great job transforming that roster, bringing in some really good players. Do you feel like you guys have set the standard in terms of what a big roster turnover looks like in offseason using transfer portal things like that? I, I'm not sure, honestly. I mean, I, I know I know people point to it um, when you have the win differential and, and, and just maybe the feel of the program you know changing as, as quickly as it did. Um, wasn't our goal to change the way, right? If you do it, it was just to try to make USC as good as we can. And so if it changes anything, then that's just a lot What can you say about the addition of Clint Kingsbury and your staff? Okay, yeah, Clint's been, been great. It's been good uh, to have him with us. He got there right after the uh, spring ball and did it. So it's been great to have him here for the summer. And um, yeah, good friend, great coach, uh, another great guy to have in the staff room. Uh, that brings, obviously, a lot of knowledge, not just from the offensive point of view, but been very helpful for me to have a guy that's sat in that, that chair in terms of being a head coach, um, both at the collegiate level and at the NFL level. It's been, it's been awesome. And, you know, Cliff already knew so many of the guys on our staff that a lot of those relationships were, were already in place. So in terms of just, you know, kind of fitting in with the guys, has been really seamless. Well, will he be drawing some plays for you? Contributing some? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Not, yeah, you, you get a mind like that in that room, you We've got a creative room as it is, and yeah, a guy I'd like to have, we're certainly going to take advantage of it. How do you notice the recruiting change, or has it changed, regarding now that you're going to the Big Ten? Yeah, it's 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 an impact, right? Now. Like, there's certainly an impact. Um, you know, they kind of look at, I think, us recruiting, you know, branching out to some of the areas that we're recruiting, and I think that's going to continue to to evolve even more and more as we go on. Uh, I think. I think our kids are excited about playing on a monster stage week in and week out with some of the matchups that it's going to create. And, and listen, I mean, right now, more people watch Big Ten football than anything else. If we're getting ready to add, you know, two prime schools in the LA market into that, and what that's going to mean is, uh, is uh, some great opportunities for all the teams in the future. So, um, yeah, from a recruiting standpoint, that's, that's the time that we focus the most on it. Um, it's certainly, I think, exciting for, for everybody, coaches, fans, and, and recruits, future players. I'm going to throw the UK softball. If you were an head coach in another world, what other job would you be doing? Uh, I'd be doing something All my family says either a lawyer or a doctor, but I, I don't know. Um, I think I could have done either one. Um, probably one of those things. Maybe a lawnmower like your Harbaugh? <laughs> yeah, that's a better answer. There's no telling with Jim. No telling. One coach you didn't get to play against last year was Keon McCord. Yeah. Like mining offensive guy. Did you know a lot about him coming into the conference and after playing this ball? Just kind of what do you know? Yeah, certainly did. Yeah, knew about this. His previous success and the job he's done as, a, as an offensive coach and play caller. And, and uh, I think all of us when, when Washington hired him, I think we had a coaching community. That was a you know, really strong hire, and uh, I've enjoyed this year uh, just meetings, and uh, we did the big uh, coaches uh, golf outing at Pebble Beach, and we spent a lot of time with them there. It's uh, I've, I've just had a lot of fun getting to know him. Uh, he's a great guy, a lot of fun to talk to. 
we'll get we'll to play them once this year, which will be fun. Or maybe for the next drive, we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, he's done a tremendous job. They got a lot of really good football players up there right now. And uh, they've yeah, been a lot of fun to be playing with first time. You mentioned uh, Colorado. Have you had any opportunity in the spring hall to interact with Coach Sanders? I know he's not here today. And just, what do you think about the overall excitement he's brought to the league so far in the offseason? Yeah, no, I've never met Coach. Uh, looking forward to getting the chance to do it. Uh, we got a lot of mutual friends, so we we'll get to catch up with them. Yeah, I mean, listen, anytime you can bring in good players or good coaches into a league, uh, you can help the chance to the league. And in Colorado, Colorado's got some, some really strong history, as we all know, and so I think it's good for college football, good for this league right now uh, to see programs like that that have been down a little bit start to come back and see some of the kids that are not excited. Are there any caliber quarterbacks in this conference? Do you think it's going to be every week one quarterback upping, upping another quarterback with what they can do? Well, listen, I mean, it's one of those things like, is, is all the quarterbacks coming back a big deal? Yeah, of course it is. Right? Like, it, it is in the fourth position, but there's still the other 21 guys on the field are going to have some say in it, too, right? And, and so um, it's a great starting point for a lot of these teams, and it does give you absolute advantages, but you know, even when returning all these quarterbacks, like a lot of these guys are going to have new supporting cast. You know, a lot of these guys are going to have different players around them, or in some cases different coaches or different play callers or different systems. So um, it'll be new challenges for the quarterbacks, but yeah, I mean, you certainly can't deny the strength of it, and, and I imagine there'll be a, a lot of great performances throughout the year. What's been the early impression of Deuce Robinson so far? Uh, Deuce has done well. He's done well. He's, uh, he's certainly... Uh, the size, the length, the speed combination is, is, is unique, like we kind of knew and, and thought, thought it was. And uh, it's picked up on our, our system really quick. And, and uh, I'd certainly be surprised if he didn't have a good impact on the football. you figured out where he's going to slot and then also the, the, the baseball schedule and how it's going to work? With yeah, we're going to communicate on, on baseball now that the, the draft and all that have unfolded. We've already started some of those, some of those talks. Um, so excited to continue that. Uh, we've worked him at a, at a variety of different positions this summer, just to try to get him acclimated more within the offense. And as we, once we finally get on the field with him and we get pads on and we get a chance to work and see, you know, what he's really like there and what are our other strengths and weaknesses are, we'll give him a slot. Everybody's been talk, uh, talking about uh, disturbing allegations at Northwestern about hazing. And the NCAA says it's up to schools to police themselves. What kind of safeguards do you have in place as a program to prevent something like that from happening at USC? Yeah, listen, it's a, I know it's a hot topic and certainly understand and, and, and respect the question. Um, it's something that all of us have had to deal with uh, in terms of having procedures and processes and, and safeguards, as you said, in your program in place to try to do the best you can to prevent things like that happening. It's obviously at the forefront of uh, everybody's minds right now because of what happened. I don't know that I want to get into a lot of details, but I'll just say we're uh, confident in the approach, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a constant topic for us um, since the day we walked in the door, not just because there was an incident that happened at the other school. Let's do one more. Same kind of first impression question. Bear on the defensive side and Emmanuel come in on, on offensive end. Yeah, um, I mean, you love, you love what you see in the weight room. You love just kind of the strength and mass that they bring on, on both sides. And that was that was an area for us of, uh, that we wanted to address was really on both sides. We wanted to get a little thicker, right? a little stronger, have a little more mass, a little bit more power on the interior of the offensive and defensive lines. And, and those guys bring that. So, uh, yeah, I think up to this point, we're excited about the offseasons they've had. We've got to get them acclimated to us. Uh, from a culture standpoint, from a scheme standpoint, quickly here when fall camp starts, but they both they both look look, look uh, as advertised. Thank you, Coach Riley.